Hey everybody, and welcome back to more CC2 LP1 voting. We are on our fifth pack of the voting right now, called the Aerosol Pack, and we are going to get started on this today. It's been a while since I've recorded, mainly because I've been out of town, but let's go and get going here. You, I guess we find ourselves in a room. Um, this seems to be fairly simple. It doesn't seem like there's any nasty tricks involving these, although... This is a bit of a potential problem. Oh, never mind. That was a trap, guys. That's what we call in the business a trap. So let's not go up there quite as eagerly now. I'll go back this way instead. Why don't we do that? So this seems to be a, kind of a maze of sorts, although how in the world do we get that? Uh, oh, I see. No, I don't see. Okay, you do that. That's pretty neat. I like that. Ah, I see. It's a maze with mimics and invisible walls. So it looks like these are just a bunch of... 8 by... What the heck? Thunder just totally... clapped there. Okay, I see we've got a bunch of blocks and stuff here. Oh, I get it. Oh, but we have flippers. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, if this is another return strategies-esque uh, ice block thing, I'm not sure I'm ready for that at this point in the video. But There's a lot of construction work going out there, so it could be some giant truck or something making noise. But that the sky is looking a little gray, so I'm thinking it's a thunderstorm coming in or something. Alright, so we're about to get all our items taken away from us, unless there's something here that I'm totally not seeing, and there is not. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we've got uh, a no hiking boot sign. Very interesting. Um, I, we can only do that as a Melinda. So I have to go here first, it would seem, and then we go in here as Melinda. So I take it the point of this is just to do something like that. What? Oh, that's a chip thing! I did not see that that was a chip thing. I thought that was a Melinda thing. Alright, you got me there. I shall admit defeat. I like this opening room. This is kind of cool. The way this works out. But thankfully it's really simple. In fact, most of these rooms are pretty simple. I just have to be on my toes here. I see the ghosts up there are basically just flying around with speed boot. Why did I do that? I thought I had flippers. As, gonna, as I was saying, I, I see the ghosts up there flying around with uh, speed boots, which is pretty fun. I always love it when uh, rovers and ghosts collect speed boots in CC2. I think that's a fun um, little gimmick. Or, um, um, what do you call them? Doppelgangers. Like, uh, in that one level. Can we just do this? Yeah, we can do that. Um, the, a Camp O level. Still don't know who made that, by the way. It feels like something that maybe Zane would have made or something, I don't know. Okay. There we are, go there, get that, and now we're out. Okay, so now we can do this again. Okay, this time, I'm going to actually do this on the way back. Oh, that needs to be Melinda. Okay. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh... Okay, so we have to be Melinda going into that, I see. Okay. That should be doable. It's a pretty clever section, I like it. Okay, so now we've turned something on. And it's definitely not anything related to... Okay, here it is, right here. I have to unfortunately drop those. Okay, what does this hint say? Be careful here. Thank you, Hint. I was totally not planning on that. 
Alright, do I have to get a green key? Or is that just for the ghosts? I bet that's just for the ghosts. Thankfully I can step on these green key things whenever I want, so that's not a problem. And then the path over here should be pretty simple to access, so there's that. Okay, so all in all this room was really simple. Okay, yeah, that, that was not too hard. I liked that. That was neat. Okay, what do we have here? I'm taking it the there's borders, right? Like, we, we can't go on that very outside thing. Here we go. This is cool. I like it when these force things, now that we can put chips on force floors, I like it when that's used to some interesting way, um, extents. Um, it looks like we just need to get one of these blown up. Like, I don't see any restrictions otherwise. Although, I mean, preferably we want both teeth to die. But, nice thing is, there's really no uh, way for them to be used anywhere else, so that works out perfectly. Okay, which one do we want to open up? I suppose it doesn't matter. This kind of reminds me of, um... What do you call that level? Oh, it was in CCLP4. What is the name of that level? It's like a Josh level, and it's keyboard keyboard malfunction. That's the name of it. This kind of feels like a Josh level. I bet it is. I think I might have an extra key left. Yeah, I got one extra key left, so now I can just go here and collect all the things. Oh, I see. I can get one there. That's pretty neat. I will take full advantage of the bonuses here. Alright, so that was You Find Yourself in a Room. Um, how do I rate this one? On one hand, the level didn't really do anything particularly groundbreaking, but it was a nice variety level that used the CC2 elements to really interesting degrees. Um, the only room that I will say is kind of a disappointment is the Blue Wall Room. And if it is Josh, then I get why it's a Blue Wall Room, because he likes those. But we, we've had those in CC1, and compared to what the rest of the level had to offer, I guess you could say the end room also did that, but I liked the bonuses. They fit really nicely. I'll give this one a, a 4. I, I had fun with it. it. It was a nice level. For a linear one, it really worked well. Even more tanks. Direct the tank X positions toward you. If you are on the same row or column. Okay, so if I do 1, what does it do? Uh, one. No? Two? Three? Whoa! Okay, that's not correct. So these are not spaces? I'm confused here. These don't seem to actually affect movement. One. Oh, I see. So these hold down. Okay. I think the idea here is that you use these and they move positions as in the buttons. I think that's how this works. Oh, whoa. That's right, that goes left. My bad. Okay, I, I get the gimmick of this now. Alright, so I'm assuming the ultimate goal is to push that button, right? Is there a... yeah, there, there's an exit down there. So let's... Let's figure this out. Um, yeah, I, I don't see any other way to do this, so let's, let's totally figure this out. So what's down here first? There's two. Let's go this way this time. Alright, and then six left, we do not want that. Five right, let's try that. That sounds pretty productive. Is there a one up? There is. Now, is there a four left here? No. What happens if we pu push this zero one? Does nothing happen? Nothing happens. Okay. Uh, can we do it again? We can do it again. That's pretty handy. So, that means I could just push it. Okay, so maybe the, the real thing to be asking here is on where on this ax like where on the axes that intersect here at this point, 
can we work with this? And I think it's from the bottom at this point because from the left, there's nothing to do. From the right, we can go five, but that's too far. But from the bottom, we could do three, which means that we could work from this point. All right, so let, I guess we just work backwards from here then, right? Now, let me just check to make sure. I guess we could work from the top. Wait, no, because that's two um, from the bottom. The top is three, and I think three is too much. Yeah, three is too much. So it has to be from the bottom. It has to be two. So now we need to check everything here. So three from the right, that's feasible. Six from the left is not. Three from the top, we've already determined that that's not it. So it's definitely going to be the, the one over here, the, um, the two from the right. Now this presents us a choice now because we can do either this button or this button. So actually, let's start over and not press anything yet, and I'll map out the path. I, I want to see if I can do this. So was it three? No, it was, yeah, it was three, because two and two. So, boom, boom. Now I could do two from there, except I can't. What's from the top? Two from the top. There's also one from the top in this case, which could also be potentially useful. And actually, I think we can make that work with what we have going on right now. Oh wait, this is left. My bad. I keep getting those mixed up. Okay, so we cannot go that way. But I can do the three down thing. Or I keep mixing up the directions. Stop mixing up the directions. Okay, two down. Two down. That was what we did before. And then not there. Definitely not there. Five right. Okay, this is what we want. Because we want to go here. Oh, except that's too far. Except it's not, because I can just move it up and then move it down how many, how many ever times I need. So if I move it like all the way up and then go four down, I think that's good enough right because now I can just go three to the left and that's wait was this not the right oh my bad it's it's the next one down I went too far let's undo basically everything we just did there let's push it one more or two more up I guess you can't do it in succession and then we'll do four down. And then we'll go... Wait, can we do this? Maybe I mixed up the directions again. I totally mixed up the directions again, didn't I? Except, wait a second, I can go all the way here. And then I can go to the right. There we go. And then I can do the three up, right? Or two up. Which is not gonna... If I can just do two up, three down, I think that should work. Because if I do... If I do that, I can then offset it by one. And we should be fine. Okay, good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that was even more tanks. That was a really cool concept. My only complaint about this is that I feel like there could have been more done with it and that maybe it was a little too loose with its moves. Like, I kind of wish there was more restrictions. Like, you had to pick a different perpendicular direction every time. Like, that would have been a cool restriction to have. Because I thought that's what you had to do at first, but then I realized, oh, I could just offset something on the same axis. So that's one issue I had with it. Um, the other thing is I kind of wish that there was more going on with the... Like, maybe there could be an advanced version of this where you had multiple tanks. And, well, I don't know how that would work because you would be controlling all of them. But it'd be kind of like a rush hour sort of thing where you have to unscramble the configuration of everything to let something through. Or, I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. I'm going to give that a 3. I thought that was a decent level. It's 
uh, had a really cool concept. I kind of wish it was a little more restrictive with what it did because the freeform nature of it made it a little simple to work with. But overall, I liked it. Ghost's Worst Fear. And I see that they're shivering and quaking in fear here. Alright, we'll just use trusty, dusty, follow the left wall for this maze. So this just seems to be a plain maze, like there's nothing going on with this. Which, I mean, I guess if you're into that sort of thing, it's cool. I like mazes for what it's worth. I'm not like an anti-maze person. I just feel like you could do more with mazes with CC. It's kind of like Sokobans. You know, you, you've got Sokobans that are plain, which I'm not opposed to those. Like, in the right context, they can be used well. Like, I know Tyler has made a lot of great levels that include one of those kinds of puzzles in them, and they work, for the most part, really, really well. But, like, if all your level is is just plain Sokobans, and there's the thunder. There we go. I really hope that this doesn't last too long. I, I don't know if I've told you guys this before, but I really hate thunderstorms. They're, they're actually one of my worst fears, personally. Alright, I'm going to give that a 1. That's not particularly inspiring. Breakthrough. <laughs> okay, I think I see the point here. Uh, we have to get these tanks out of the way or something. Use the two items and the four keys carefully. They cannot be replaced. So I cannot walk through these because they're chip-only things. Uh, what? Okay, I, I don't see... Unless I'm supposed to drop these and I end up somewhere else. No. Nope. Uh, what's controlling that, first of all? What, where is the, the tank control for this? And where... What is this yellow tank for, anyway? I see a, a, yellow, a blue teleport there. And I see something that exits to the left, but I don't get what it is. Let's find out. Oh, hello. I guess it's a tank button. Alright. That was cool. Uh, can we stop this again? I don't understand how that offsetting is working, but there was a point, yeah, there we go, there's a point at which it, you can make it stop. I don't understand where the tank even is, though. That's kind of an issue. Also, I think these, these are the walls of confusion, or whatever that level is, from CC2 itself. Okay. Um, there we go. I still don't... Okay, we can see this from here. I guess we can do that. I'll give the level that, at least. So now we can go across this. And I take it we don't do anything else here. That seems to be all we can do. Alright, so now we can proceed this way. And presumably we use the bowling ball here. Okay, we use the bowling ball there. That was it. I'm going to give that a 2. It didn't exactly do a whole lot for me. It was... I liked the idea of getting the tanks out, and there's the constant idea of, hey, there's a bowling ball here, you can just use a bowling ball, but you have to find a different solution. I wasn't as big a fan of the viewing area for the yellow tank going into control the, where the blue... Um, that like the, where the blue tank or button thing was being done. I wish you could actually stay there. That would have been nice. But still, it was it was a decent level. It's just not one I I'm particularly jonesing to see in the final set or anything. All right, moving on to insect path, and I think I see the idea here. We're supposed to guide the bugs somewhere, although I'm not exactly sure where or why. Is it here? Are we doing something with this? I have to assume the answer is yes. I'm just worried that they're going to collide or do something strange or something. But so far this seems to be pretty simple. Yep, 
Yeah, th it's just making a path for them. Is it... Does this involve holding down the button? Is that what's going on? I mean, if that's the case, I can just do that, right? Oh, but now we've got the question of... Oh, boy! That was a big one. Okay, maybe we didn't want to have them press the button, because now they're going to get stuck and or reverse. So maybe that was a foolhardy decision. Let's not have them do that. Let's see. None of the bugs must drown. You can toggle the walls four times? I don't understand that limit. That feels a little strange. Four times? What? Why four times? Oh! Is it because these have to be open and then these... Okay, hang on a sec. Good night. Can that stop? I, I hate thunderstorms. I really do. Alright. So I take it the idea is that you're supposed to go in, open these up first, and then from this room, then you close them? Is that the play? So we can do that, right? We can do that. And then I'll do this. Okay, here they come. I hope this is enough, by the way. Is this enough bugs, or are we going to be short? We're short. And here's the thing. I bet one of them drowned, didn't he? Oh no! Two of them got stuck up there. Really? 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 All right, let's let's start this over again. I'm not a big fan of this so far. I'm just gonna go ahead and admit it. Okay. So and we have to get all those, right? Unless unless we save them for later, which I think we can do. Let's actually do that. Let's not get those first. I guess that's a trap. I had no idea we were going to get a thunderstorm today, and we're about to get a big one here. I'm covering my ears. Come on, just get it over with. There we go. Uh, they honestly just stress me out. That's the main thing. Okay, there we go. Now I'm worried that some of them may have died in water on the way to the the first teleport thing. Hopefully not, but we'll find out. Actually, I think we're, we're fine. Yeah, we're totally good. Alright, I'm going to race back now. Uh, would you please stop it, Storm? I just hope there's no hail. My car is not in a position right now where it's ready for hail. Alright, so that's it for that level. I'm giving that a 1. Sorry whoever designed that. Um, I'm just going to check on the weather real quick before we move on to the next level. While I'm doing that though, let's see what we've got. Optimaze. Sounds interesting. It, I see a cloner there. Okay, the weather radar... Huh. I'm not seeing much that's right... Oh wait, I'm looking in the wrong place. Duh. A lot of it seems to be north of uh, where I live. Huh, okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone. Okay, so this is clearly a maze is all being formed around you and you have to get stuff and be as quick about it before the maze completely envelops you. I think that's the, the point. Problem is, I need to find a way around. Ugh. Please stop, Storm. Like, seriously, you're not you're not funny. Is the way around just going to the edges? I bet it is. <laughs> this is a fun concept. I like see, this is the sort of maze idea I like. I like it when this kind of thing is used to affect that's actually in 
including the CC2 elements. And somehow I died. Not sure how I died there. But I'm going to focus on, like, emptying out one quadrant. Like, if, even if it's just, like, this one. Because I feel like that will go a long way toward making the rest of the level a lot simpler. I can't remember... I, I feel like the name of this level feels familiar. And I want to say it's a Henry Potts level. I, I like it. it. It's an interesting idea. I like the idea of a state that changes throughout the course of the level. I... If, if you know some of the voting decisions I've made so far, if you've been following these um, uh, voting things, you know I like levels that have this element of state changes or phases or whatever you want to call them throughout the course of the thing. I think they're very interesting. I, I feel like this level could have gone, I don't know how you would have done this, but maybe a little slower with how the balls came out. I'm assuming there's some sort of like repeater type mechanism that's setting them up to go constantly clone like that. Um, so I know you can do that. But now I just have to figure out where all the paths are here, so... Yeah, this is pretty neat. I like it. It may be a little large, and I just I thought that was open, but it was not, so... Alright, let me not deviate too far from the path I want to go on. I also like that this uses railroads, because like this is a really effective use of railroads. I think they they work well for what this level is doing. Alright, uh, let's go here, and pfft, wow. Why is it that this level is really giving me a hard time here? It's probably just the storm rattling me, that's all. Okay. My one concern about this is that it's going to get to a point where I'm going to have like one chip left and then the path to get to it is going to be something completely dumb and ridiculous, you know, as it often is with mazes. I kind of wish that there was like a way you can break through one part of the maze just to just to use, kind of like repair the maze, but not, I guess. Like, you can use your one break point to save time. I don't know how you would do that, though. You probably couldn't do it, at least with this. I mean, if you had to use, like, a helmet or something, then you would have to own it for, like, most of the level, or all of it, for it to properly work. I also like that there's dead ends. Like, not everything has a chip at the end of it. That's pretty neat. I really like that a lot. Yeah, what a creative way to use, like, a repeater mechanism. That's that's really neat. Alright, I'm just going to go around the edge for now, and we'll figure out where to go from here. Let's just do that. I think that would be, that would be the smartest option at this point. My only other complaint with this, I will say, is that fr from where I'm sitting right now, it feels like a lot of the level comes down to going around the edge and then coming into these paths that just branch out here a little bit. So really the the main... whoops, sorry about that. Close out. The main draw point for this level is just the beginning. Which is kind of a shame, because I, I really like the idea of it. And I think maybe a smaller scaling on <coughs> on a lot of this would have helped al um, along that line. So there's where the exit is, apparently. So a lot of these just feel like I'm just walking along a long path to get to chips. Like, it's not... I wouldn't call that, like, a really compelling maze maze. It's just going in and doing the same thing over and over again. But I like the, the state change. Like, that's the compelling part. I just kind of wish you had more time to, within which to do that. So that would have been really neat. But still, a, a pretty neat concept. I, I like the concept. I just kind of wish it was used 
maybe in a less overwhelming size level, because this feels like it's like a 40 by 40 level. I, I think this is a Henry Potts level. He tends to make pretty large levels, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was his. Okay, we're making good progress, thankfully. Okay, so now let's go out and... Uh, I don't know how much we have left here on the lower left, because we've done so much here. We've already gotten whatever's there, if anything. I'm just going to leave this section alone for now. I, I don't really see a reason to go there yet. If we need to go back there, we'll go back there, but I don't want to waste time. Okay, nothing there. I think most of the chips are in this area, to be honest. I think they're in this part. Okay, so this part is a little better because there's a fork within this area. It's not just all you go on one path and that's kind of it. There's actually multiple paths. That's kind of cool. I, I like that. <laughs> the sound of that thing just going and going is kind of funny. Alright, I don't think there's anything more we can do. Yeah. Let's go on to the next one. I, I see that all those are connected, so maybe they're a part of the next major branch, which might be this one. I thought we went down this one already. Okay, not that one. This one? Okay, there's a lot going on with this one, so I bet we missed something here. I, I bet this is it. Huh. Maybe it's not it. Okay, we're... Where do we miss stuff? Hmm. That's a little frustrating, not gonna lie, but I think we just made a loop, didn't we? Did we just make a loop? No, that's, that's the same path. So maybe it's something that you access from that lower left area. Like, maybe you actually have to do that. I thought maybe that was a... A complete waste of time, but maybe not. Mm, I don't think this is it. Let's go this way. Let's not go that way. Let's go over here. Aha! Nothing there. Okay, maybe it's here. Let's let's take a look at least. Okay, that water tile definitely adds a little bit of dimension to this because that serves as an opening point. I forgot that they can do that. Okay, we've gotten everything here, so I don't think anything here is going to be worth our time. And here's another one. Yep, that was a big old lightning bolt. I've been saying big old stuff ever since watching Josh play through Walls of CCLP1. Seriously, Josh, you've inspired me to say big old room and big old things and big stuff. Alright, um, so yeah, this seems to be the path where all the remaining stuff is. Yeah, I don't think I've been this close to all these thunderclaps in a storm in a while. Like, this is the first time in a while. Okay, how do we get to that? That's the question now. Is there a way over here? It seems to be from the top? Maybe? Or is it here? No? No, it's from there. What's over there? Oh, wait. No. No. No, it is from the top. Okay, I missed that. Well hidden. Yeah, you definitely want to be super systematic while playing this, because if you're not, you're going to be pretty much hosed in terms of beating this optimally speaking. And here comes all the rain. I can hear lots of rain going down right now. Okay, here we go. I thought we explored everything here, because this was the one I was commenting earlier, it was like, ooh, lots of paths, lots of options, and I guess we weren't thorough with this one. Yeah, this is the way. No? Oh, here it is, this is the way. I didn't see this earlier. Yeah, that's, that, that's a good example of how to use forks like that in a level like this. I, I wish the level had more of that instead of just straight paths that just lead to chips. But overall, that was pretty decent. I'll give it a three. Um, I, I had fun with it. A little long, but you know, I can live with that. 
but I'm kind of neutral on this being in an official set, to be honest, so we'll give it a three. All right, the next level I can already see here on the voting thing is Chip Test 02. So another level in this test series, and apparently that's just, you go through it like that. Okay, so we got more of these. I guess these are not really optimal to get if they're that far away. But we'll... I I'm trying to understand, like, if there's a unifying theme with the aesthetics of these, because I know the Melinda one had, like, this kind of same messy layout. And I don't know if... Okay, I think that's a trap. I don't want to go through that. So I need to get a... Oh, no, I do want to go through that, because there's a... There's a no yellow key sign over there. I see you there. Okay, what do we do with this? I see we've got a character changer. We've also got this area which leads to hiking boots. So I guess my question is first of all do we use this to just go and get that? Like is that... Oh no! I can't do that because I can't push things on top of... Oh. Okay, never mind. So I guess we have to go over there. We have, we were forced to go this way. And I see we got skates, so that's good? Where are we gonna use those? Okay, I'm, I'm a little lost. Where are we using skates, guys? I don't see a spot where this would be particularly useful unless we're supposed to item drop it somewhere. But that's a little questionable at this point. I think the idea here is that you're supposed to like get out of here as Melinda and then use get rid of your hiking boots, go down here. But like what? And how do we solve the problem of being able to use the skates? Like what's the whole point of the skates? This is an interesting one. I like this aesthetic. It's definitely very compelling in its own unique way. So ultimately the goal is to get the green key. We, we know that. We know we need to get the green key, right? And in order to do that, first of all, I don't think we can do it unless we are Melinda and can basically nail off of the force floor. That seems to be the the sensible uh, option here. I don't think there was anything we could have really effectively done with the block either other than put it in the water there, right? Because pushing it down here into the transmogrifier wouldn't have enabled us to take it out. This is also not a level with multiple characters, so we can't do that. So, yeah. I mean, I can understand if maybe this was passable. It does, it's interesting though, because this looks like, oh wait, I can go out here. Wow. <laughs> Why did I not see that until now? Okay, I, I really have to admit, I like this exploration element of this game where you can use a lot of these elements like turtles and like Forbidden Sit or Forsaken City or whatever it's called use that to really good effect. And I like this kind of thing where you got this big area, a big old room, as Josh would say, within which to do this. Um, so now I got to figure out how in the world am I going to get that block out from there? Because that seems to be the the challenge here, right? We need to get the block out of there. Although we may already have cooked the level, because if I do push the block into the fire, then we still have water to bypass, right? Which basically means that we can't do much else. Unless there's something under this ice block, which is possible. Maybe there's like fire boots under it or something. But no, I think we're supposed to do something like this. I 
How do we get back out, though? Oh, don't tell me we were supposed to leave that there and then go around and... Yeah, I bet that's what we were supposed to do. Okay, let's start that over again. I like this one, though. This is a, a nice... different feeling kind of level. And I, I, I'm trying to... Um, to be open to things that are like outside the norm like this because often it's easy for me to kind of get stuck in a rut when it comes to level design and whatnot. And this level is one of those ones that's like, hey, here's a concept and it feels different admittedly, but that's not bad. You know, it's it's just different. Okay, so I can turn the dirt block around here. So maybe that that those skates are ultimately a red herring. So what we do know is that we can push this block somewhere and leave it there, which we might have to do with that. Although, how do we then extract it from there is the question. That I'm not certain about. That... Okay, I see that we can use this turtle to get it out once we're over here, but... Am I just not seeing something with how turtles work with this? Because this looks impossible. Like, I, I seriously don't see how you're supposed to solve this. Because if I put it here, and I push it, then it's going to be stuck there with, like, nothing. So unless there's secret flippers somewhere in the level that I'm completely missing, I don't exactly see what we're supposed to do. Okay, it looks like the storm is moving away. Or, I should say, it sounds like the storm is moving away. I'm looking around the edge to make sure I'm not missing another opening into another room because, man, I felt really silly after missing that entrance to this room. Alright, let me think about this here for a minute. Let me think about this. If a block goes onto a turtle, we know that it's basically taking the position of the turtle. Um... Like, this makes more sense if you had flippers, in terms of carving the path out. And we, do we know for a fact that there aren't flippers here? Or wait a minute, are we supposed to use this dirt block in the service of getting... No, we can't take the dirt block over here. Never mind. Or can we? Wait a minute, there's a turtle there. There's a turtle there. Hmm. I'm questioning like everything right now, man. Like I I don't know. This This is a, a weird brain teaser. It's fascinating. See the problem is is that once we fill that in with the ice block, we still need a dirt block. So unless there's just a magical hidden dirt block somewhere that I can't see, which it doesn't seem like there is, I think that's kinda all we're limited to, right? I can't take any blocks from this side, like there's nothing there, If there, even if there was something there is what I mean. We couldn't do anything with that, so... I mean, unless there's like a, a way to shove dirt blocks with ice blocks in some way that I'm not aware of, which I don't... I think that only like this side up or whatever that level was called taught us that you can't really do that. I'm pretty sure you can't do that. Like, if I'm remembering the properties of these things correctly. Let me just make sure there's nothing over on the other side that I missed. There's also stuff up there. Is there some reason for that being up there? Or is it just decorative? See, I like levels like this that have this outside that you can't reach that just teases you with promises of adventure and just all kinds of cool stuff, you know? Just, I like that. That's that's a neat touch. So here's the thing. If I go in here, I go in there, and then it disappears, and now I can't do anything. There's no other way out of that. Like, what? 
What in the world am I missing here with this one? I'm, I'm checking to make sure there's no other paths in this area that lead to secret riches or something cool. Not unless there's like some other alternate way to go down or something. I mean, I'll check after the yellow key usage, but yeah, there's nothing. Huh. I am genuinely stumped on this one. Like, I don't know. The objective is to get that. We we know we need to get a dirt block and an ice block up here. What I don't understand is the skates. That part I am really uncertain about is why are there even skates in the level? Are the skates just a red herring? And I'm beginning to think the answer is yes at this point. Like there's no nothing else you can do in that room. There's I mean, there's really nothing else I can see being useful in here for skates. And I still don't see the value in taking a block into this room, even though you can. Like, what even is the point of that? I mean, if I pushed a block, let's take, let's even, let's hypothetically go down the list of options with respect to what we can do with the block, right? I could put it there. That might, in some ways, be the... M would that even be useful? I'm not even sure that would be useful at this point. I mean... Really, I feel like the most useful thing would be to put it there, where the mouse is right now, and then go around here go this way but then even if I put the ice block here then it's gonna be stuck right there upon retrieval so what what would the point of that be I mean that's not even gonna do any good I mean you almost need a hook or something to make this work and I don't see any like a hook of, or anything like it anywhere around here so what on earth do I do with this I I, I'm so intrigued by this, I want to figure it out. It's actually really interesting, in my opinion. I, I just don't know what to do. I, I don't even know where to start with this. I mean, clearly, the objective is to get the ice block out, right? We, we know that. Problem, though, is that if I use the dirt block here to cover something up, I'm effectively... Um wasting it because there's only one dirt block like that's it there there are no other dirt blocks so i'm just looking at it just trying to figure out what i'm not seeing here because i'm obviously not seeing something with this one i i don't know what the level is asking of me, and that's a frustrating feeling to have. I mean, I can understand that there's multiple ice blocks, but I don't see any. I can understand that there's multiple dirt blocks, but I also don't see any of those. So, I'm just looking around just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything else. Problem is I cannot push a... Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Oh, hang on a sec. No, you do have to take the block in. You do have to take the block in. The, su the hiking boots, I think, are a red herring. Here's my reasoning for that. So notice that this is a green key. I forgot an ice block can go through that. Yeah. So now the question is, where do I put this in order to extract this guy? That's the real question of the hour right now. And I'm not sure what the answer is. I, I, uh, on one hand, it feels like the space above me is a nice one. But that doesn't really seem to do a whole lot. 
Uh, boy. Unless, wait a minute. Unless we can get it, get it here. Like maybe that's possible. In fact, I wonder if that's the the intended solution. Let me try something. I bet this is it. Yeah, this is totally it. Okay, so now we come here. And then we do this. That was cool. I liked that. But it's one of those things that I feel doesn't quite jive with what the level is presenting to you. Because the level is presenting this giant explorative kind of thing, but like the actual puzzle is really simple in the level. But I like the actual puzzle in the level. That's the, that's the thing. It's like, I feel so conflicted about that. I liked it though. I'm going to give it a three. It, it was a, a decent level. Had some, it had a nice little trick to it. I like the aesthetic. I just kind of wish it was scaled down maybe a little bit. I feel like it could have been smaller. Still left behind. Okay, um, so this is a little awkward, but I happen to know that this level is the second in a series of levels that Jeffrey made. Um, I know that it's not a, uh, like a standalone thing. The, the idea behind this, I think, is that you're supposed to travel in like constantly shifting clockwise directions so that you don't kill a chip that is um, or not not constantly shifting clockwise directions but I'll show you what I mean here Okay, so the idea is that there's a chip somewhere hidden off screen, and I can't see where he is. That's like on railroad tracks, and basically, a set of rail he like he's facing up at the start, like we are, I think. And then the you're trying to go in a circle, like make the uh, the doppelganger chip go in a circle, and you don't want him to go into like bombs. I think is the the idea? Yeah, like there he blew up. I can't actually hear this very well, so I'm going to turn the sound up so I can hear this better. Okay, let's let's try it again. I still can't hear it very well. Let, let me actually go into the preferences and do it here. Is that... Whoa! Okay, that was loud. Sorry to anyone out there who was using headphones. Okay, let me turn my sound back down. The problem is I haven't played the first level in this series that was supposed to be like the introductory tutorial to this. Okay, so there I heard him go kaboom. Okay, there he went kaboom. So it does look like we're supposed to go up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left constantly. So I got to worry about that while down. Ah, this is going to take some getting used to, I can tell. Up, right. Okay, good. I want to go back. Why did I do that? Am I really supposed to like be optimal with this? Because if that's the case, that's going to be hard. <laughs> no! <laughs> this is fascinating. I, I It really is. It's just really frustrating at the same time. It's frustrating. Like, you know what I mean. Upright. Okay, let's wait. Down, left, up. The thing is, he's on railroad, so it's not like a time thing. 
Okay. Down left. Down left. Okay, we're on left now. This is good. Look, why'd I go that way? That that was dumb. I'm supposed to go from the left side. Uh, we'll get this. I promise we'll get this. I like this concept though. It's such a fun idea. I, I love movement restriction levels. Down left. Okay, so now the next direction has to be up. Right. Down. Left. And then up again. So I, I'm absolutely forced to go up here. Like, I can't do anything else. Okay, I need to think about how I'm going to do this. I can go right as long as I follow those bugs there. So I kind of have to do a similar little dance here with this. Okay, that's going to be a little awkward. How do I overcome that? Okay. I, I really like this first part. This is, this is neat. Okay. So I can go to the right, but apparently I can't go down successfully. How am I going to overcome that? And I think the answer is I need to get ahead of the bugs. Right, down, left, up. Right, down, left, up. Is there a way to do that? Going in circles here, guys. Oh, there we go. Ah! I, I hesitated. I hesitated. Why did I hesitate? Mmm. Why did I hesitate? That was not good. And that may have been... Yeah, that was a dumb mistake. I was a little too quick there. What? Oh, I miss... Yeah. <laughs> I love this idea, though. It's so fascinating. I don't blame Jeffrey for using it multiple times, to be honest. Okay, there we go. Like, this whole section with the dodging, it looks so simple on the surface, but to plot out your moves, there's a certain level of mental blocking that happens, I think, and it's, it's really interesting. Right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, no! No! Man, why did I do that? Now I gotta figure out what to do there. Some of the things in this level are admittedly a little hard to figure out, wow, why did I do that? are admittedly a little hard to figure out while you're doing them. That's like my only complaint about this, and I'm sure there's a way you could do it without that risk, because after all, Chip is, the other doppelganger Chip is on railroads, so that makes that more feasible. Okay. Let's go up here. All right, I think we, we either just go straight into the door. Maybe we just go straight into the door. Want to try that? Let's try it. But then we face that. Oh, we have to wait for them to come over here. Oh, okay. That makes way more sense than what I was doing. Repeating the exact same mistakes and expecting a different result. That's the definition of insanity, right? Something like that. Okay. This section, though, is really well crafted. I, I have to admit, I really like it. 
down, left. Okay. How do I do this now? Because I have to go up next, right? Up, right. So if I go down... Yeah, okay, I see. Down, left, up, right, down. Okay. Down. Okay, I'm, I'm plotting the path here. Down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down. Okay, I think I see. Right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right. There you go. Okay, so far so good. What in the world? Are we just going in a circle here until that's deactivated? I'm assuming the answer is yes. There we go. That was really fun. I liked that. I'm going to give it a 4 because uh, there were some sections that were a little bit hairy. Um, if you weren't good at planning through them. And I feel like the previous level in the series may have helped with that in terms of getting used to this concept. I, I'll have to look at the others and evaluate them and maybe I'll come back and reevaluate my score on this one. But I liked it. I, I really enjoyed that. I thought the concept was solid. I really liked the puzzle behind it. The way it, in, it involved dodging was interesting. Um, it, some, it mostly works. So we'll, we'll leave it at that for now and see what the others are like. All right, tricked you too. I'm having to get used to not moving with restrictions now. So is this just a matter of getting the dynamite? Oh. Tricked me indeed. It's under here. Oh, I can't get to that. So. Can I just slap that? I can, okay. Okay, let's try that. And then we just do this, right? We just blow it up and... Yeah. I mean, there wasn't exactly a whole lot going on with that. I'm going to give it a 1. Alright, Team Rocket Hideout. Sounds like it's something Josh would have made. Uh... I, I'm assuming we need to do something before going in there. Oh, I see. Oh, there's a doppelganger control thing here. That was really interesting, I have to admit. <laughs> that was really fascinating. Team Rocket! Alright, cool. What's under here? Oh, bonuses. And the path to a door, apparently, and a key. Okay, let's take a look around and see what we got. I hope collecting those was not a bad idea. Okay. Simple enough. It's taking a little while, but it's alright. Okay, thankfully that was the last one. Okay, so now we can go back through this thing. and <laughs> I really like the chips going around the, the uh, railroads. That's kind of cool. Alright, so now we can go over here and begin whatever this thing is. Okay, what are we doing here, even? Okay, I see basically what's going on. Uh, 
There we go. All right, so now we can go back and recess walls will not pop up when dynamite's placed on them. That is a very helpful hint. I appreciate that. So I take it I have to place dynamite here then, right? Let's see what happens. Okay, so now the path is clear. Can I get that? I can. All right, cool. Drop the speed boots. All right, so now I think we have to pull this out. And we've got a doppelganger chip here. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I take it I have to get him and I to switch places. There we go. Alright, as long as he doesn't do anything... How do I do that? Do I just go in the trap and get stuck, I guess? Yeah, there we go. Not nearly as difficult as I was making it out to be. So I can't actually take this over here, I just have to go in. But it's just a matter of getting ships, it seems. That's not bad. Alright, I'm gonna leave these here, just to be safe. Alright, so this is basically a maze of force floors? I'm going to get this chip just in case we never come back. Okay, good. Okay, this is really simple. Okay, so that was that. Now I take it we go in here. Ah, I see. We gotta unravel this thing. So now the question is, do we do this in the obvious order, or is there more to it? And I think we do it in the obvious order. Yeah, that's not hard. I thought there was gonna be like a crazy trick with that or something. Okay, so now we get these, we can go over here, get that. We go over here, and this allows us to push this down, but I doubt we want to actually do anything with that yet, so let's wait. Alright, I see there's going to be a... hang on. Oh wait, we got it, we got fire boots, right? Do we want to do this? I tell you we want to do that, and then use this over here. Or better yet, do I want to get it out of the way first, so that I can then use the centipede, or the paramecium. Wait a minute. I bet I have to use this block over there. I bet that's what you have to do. Yeah. Let me go and grab those, just to be safe. And now I get this blown up with a bowling ball, so then I can extract this and come back over here. That's really slick. I like that puzzle. No! Oh no! What? Why? Why would you do that? No! Uh, 
Uh, now I forgot where I was. Okay, good. It is that. Okay, good. I was really worried there that I had the wrong... The wrong, uh... Synchronization, basically. So are these, like, supposed to be walkers or something? These little canopy areas? So I'm imagining, like, a... I, okay, I'm ashamed to say this. I've never played any of the Pokemon games. I know Team Rock... Team Rocket is, like, a... One of the teams in Pokemon, but... I don't actually know anything about what hideouts look like or what gyms look like or anything like that. I'm hoping to get into Pokemon with a new game coming out later this year, but we'll see if that's good. But yeah, I don't know what the the Pokemon hideouts or team areas look like at all. So I'm completely ignorant on that front. Okay. Okay, I almost went into, like, right into the dead end there. How unfortunate that would have been, right? Okay, let's wait for that to blow. Okay, good. Yeah, there we go. So Team Rocket, isn't that, like, the bad one? Like, the one that everyone hates or whatever? I, I forget. I, I don't know anything about Pokemon, really. Okay, that's a lot smoother than last time. Let's go here first. Do that. There we go. Okay. I feel like this was a lot smoother than what we had before here with this section. And I'm beginning to think we're not going to come back here, but I'm just going to drop the items off anyway. Okay, it looks like that other doppelganger chip blew up or something. Alright, I'm curious to know if there's a way to bust this section. I'm guessing the answer is no, but I'd be really curious to know if there is. Let's do that. So I see later on we're going to have to do something to get all those traps opened instead of closed. So I guess my question is, is there a way, and I don't think there is, because I have to, I have to use this block on that water tile, and in order to do that I have to get the centipede to go there, but in order to do that I got to get the block up there. So yeah, I think the way we were doing it is the only way to do it. Here. I really like this section. This section is pretty cool. Okay, let's not make the same mistake we made last time. I just wasn't expecting a monster to be on the other end of that. that I guess that's my fault, but still. So I guess that's where all the, the Team Rocket members are hiding, right? Alright, so what do we got here? I see we've got yellow teleport action happening. I guess my question is... Do we want to have... First of all, are we getting a hook? Because I feel like we need a hook at this point. Okay, I, th I think we do this. There we go. I don't get this area with the... Thing yet. Maybe there's some sort of Melinda-specific action we can take here, but I'm not entirely certain what it is. Let me just collect all this for now. And a bowling ball. Now what's up with a bowling ball? Why do we need that? Oh wait, maybe that's what we use on the block. Maybe it's not a hook at all. Ah, there we go. Clever. Okay. 
Oh, I see. We have to control different members of the group here with the... Okay, so first is Melinda. Don't tell me we're going to have to go back there for each and... Okay, good. I was going to say. If we had to do that, I would have been kind of upset. Not going to lie. <laughs> I really hope we didn't need any of those, by the way. I doubt that's the case, but hopefully not. Okay, what do we have here? And that's it. I really liked that level. In fact, I'm going to actually lower my rating if you find yourself in a room to three at this point. Because it, it kind of matches more or less how I felt about this one, that one compared to this one, which I'm definitely giving a four. I thought that was a really solid level. All right, bumper cars. This is like the layout of uh, Lake and Winter. In fact, I think it is. Is this really all this is, just going around collecting chips and stuff? <laughs> I think it is. So yeah, I'm just going around collecting chips on the lake in winter. And I have a helmet on, so there's no danger. Unless there, you push a block into a chip area, but I don't think that's even that big of a deal, considering that there's barely any corner spaces. And these are all ice blocks that can... Well, actually, no, ice blocks can still be trapped in corners and whatnot, but... I feel like with this level, it's a little bit less of an issue. Because of the layout of it, mainly. I just hope we didn't mess anything up already. Like, that's my only concern. I, I really hope we didn't push anything into a corner spot. Like up here, maybe? If there was, like, a hook, that would be nice. Knowing my luck, I'm sure I, I missed something. I, I'm sure there was a... Oh, there's one. Okay, please let there be another one, and please let it be open and... ...takeable, collectible, whatever. There it is. Okay. We are out of here. Okay, that was not exactly all that interesting. I'm giving that a one. Alright, I'm looking at what else we've got here for the rest of the first half. It's like some interesting um, titles, at least. Alright, Mechanical Gates. I see this is a multiplayer level. Not, and, or, nan, nor, sore, latch, none. So this is basically a logic gate thing. All inputs are in the off position of the level. This level emulates all the logic gates in the game except counter gates with only elements from the first game. Feel free to experiment. So this is like a tutorial to help you decide... Okay. It seems like that's the case. So it seems like every one of these is basically a new puzzle to figure out. Not... And then we go here. I see there's logic used there, so it's... This isn't purely stuff from the first game. I don't quite understand how this works. Unless you're supposed to do something like that, and then... There we go. That's how you do it. The, I like the idea of this, and first of all, let me, let me turn that off. That's really annoying. I like the idea of this, but it is a little weird to parse in a sense. Not to mention that it's basically just a demo for these. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's interesting, for sure. So this one's already done, because we, we don't use either one, equivalent to this. Nor...
I feel like this isn't really teaching you how this really works. And this is exclusive ore. I mean, unless the idea is that you're supposed to go in here with this on and these off. Like, that would make way more sense. Like, is this busted? I feel like it is. Oh wait, that tank is boxed in. I did not realize that. I seriously did not realize that. Unless this section thing is just meant to show you like a corresponding principle with the actual logic elements. I don't know how I feel about that. I... Hmm. I'm gonna give it a 1... So I feel like it doesn't do any... Like, I feel like it does less in some ways than the logic tutorial from the original game did. I think something that would be more helpful is if you got to use the logic principles, but, like, in a puzzle context that was more teaching-oriented. It wasn't just, here, here's how this works, and then you're expected to get thrown in and f know how it works in a really complicated context. Um, like, have something more iterative. I think that would be nice. All right, the, the Silent Circus is level 13, and whoa! Okay. That's an interesting pattern. Okay, I guess we're just getting chips here. Oh boy, okay. So we basically have to be very vigilant about where the ghosts are, is what I'm getting out of this. Right, I'm gonna wait. Thankfully, all the, like, alternating spaces are safe, which is nice. Is this race for the chips uh, wall layout? Because I think it is. Yeah, I think this is race for the chips. I bet this is Mobius who made this. I'm just going to wait here. I, don't, I do not want to chance anything. Thankfully, there's an exit in every corner. I'm not going to bother with the bonuses, by the way. Wait here. And kaboom. There we go. Got that. Got that. Do... Is there, are there extra chips? There are extra chips. That's pretty nice. Not exactly the biggest fan of this, to be honest. Uh, what should I give this one? I'm going to give it a 1. Oops, I accidentally gave the previous level a 5. Alright, Lego My Keys. Not my Ego, apparently. Um, do we go down first? I'm assuming we do, because there's nothing up. Okay, that was clearly not a good idea. Unless we were supposed to do that, but I doubt it. Okay, what are we supposed to erase all these? Like what's the what's the deal? I'm assuming we get get all of them, right? Cause I see blue doors over there. So blue little doors over there probably means we get all of them. Oh, I see. We're supposed to direct a Ah. Well how in the world do we do that? Hang on. Is there anything here that would help? This is really interesting. I see there is a... Uh... Can I bust this? I don't think I can. Man, that would have been cool if you can. Oh, I accidentally pushed that in the wrong wrong area there. Okay, but I see what we have to do. We have to get the those first. The uh... Okay, what you call them? Um, suction boots. Yeah, if I could just get another one here, that'd be amazing, but I don't think I can.
Okay, there we go. Okay, get rid of those, and then now... Okay, let's actually get the blob in first, because that's doable at least. Alright. Unfortunately, I can't helmet the blob. So now it's just going to be a matter of waiting for a while for it to get over to where we need it to go. Okay. I suppose we can wait a little while. No harm in that. Prefer not to, though. This is kind of interesting up until now, but I, I'm kind of sad that you have to do this. Like, there's not much of a way around it either. Like, I can't take the helmet over here and use that to get the blob to go where I, where I want it to go. Oh well, we'll, we'll make it through. It's not, not a big deal. We've been through worse. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Come on, go over there. Yeah, there we go. Alright, um, it looks like that's pretty much all we need to do. We just need to get all these blue keys and then get the red key, which enables us to exit. So that's Lego My Keys. I'm not sure what keys we were really letting go other than what we're about to do here. I guess we were trying to get rid of the green ones technically. Oh wait, we have to go back to the... right. We actually have to get the chip over here. There we go. I feel like there was more of a challenge that was intended for this. Like, maybe you were supposed to do something with this blue wall area that was a little more complicated? Maybe not? I don't know. And that's it. That is all there is in this level. Um, how would I even rate this? I feel like I should rate it a 1. I don't really have a desire to see this in an official set. Miserable Anticlimax. Okay, I see a Melinda Doppelganger cloner here. What in the world is this? Oh, I wasn't fast enough there. I see a train track. A bunch of tanks going across it. What is this? I have no idea what's going on here. Oh, I can't go back there. Get a bowling ball, though. Bowling balls are cool. So I really can't go back through that, huh? Huh. What is this level? I can go through here. Oh! I don't want to do that. Oh, because if I do that, then it's going to clone onto that Melinda, apparently. Okay, I, I see. So, I'm really curious to know... Okay, it just clones once. Okay, that's that's nice. This feels a little hairy, but... There we go. Not so bad. Okay, and then we go in here. Okay, maybe that was a mistake. Yeah, what it, what is this level? This is a really odd one. I want to read that hint, too. Like, I, I really want to see what's going on. Get, get a railroad symbol or something. Alright, so if I go in here... I guess my question is, how do you get... Oh, I see how you do it. It's really easy. There we go. Get that, that, and the dynamite. Nice. That section I'm not the biggest fan of, I'm going to be honest, but it's alright. Oh, 
Okay. I'm going to be very careful about Melinda at this point because I, whenever Melinda moves, that doppelganger is also going to move, which is potentially an issue. What is this? Oh, it's just a wire. That is interesting. What is up with Chip and this teeth thing? That I'm very curious about. It would seem like I need to blow this up with the dynamite. But why? Like, what's the whole point behind all this? Huh. I wish I had more information. Because right now this level feels very open-ended and not necessarily in a fun way. I'm going to put the dynamite there for now. So the idea to get all these teeth to escape, oh boy. Come on teeth, go in there. Can you go in there? I don't know. Ooh, let's get out of here. Run, 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 run. Oh, that's right, I have a helmet. I don't have to worry about getting hit. Ha! You thought you could get me, but you didn't. All right, so now all of this is, oh. I don't know how I feel about this, guys. Like, what what in the world are we doing with this is what I'm curious about. Oh, and now I see that there's fire boots in there. So it's like the whole concept behind the level that you can't go down. Is that what this is based on? Like, you can't allow that doppelganger chip to get fire boots? Or should he get fire boots so that he can go through something that normal chip can't go through? I have to be honest. I'm not feeling, like, my normal sort of motivation to want to figure out what's going on with this. Because this level... It seems like the idea is to get the doppelgangers and or teeth potentially in here... I kind of want to just watch the replay for this. I I feel like this is going to be a very involved level. And it's not one that's making me all that eager to solve it. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So far, Chip is not going down. Okay, now he is. So the doppelganger does get the fire boots. Okay, so we... We basically did the first part of this level correctly. The part of this level that makes me a little worried is the whole teeth th thing. Like, that's that's the part that really bothers me. I like this section with the Sokoban stuff. Yeah, you can clone multiple Melindas, so you can do the whole button thing I think my main issue with this is that a lot of what you're doing is not particularly viewable I know that technically yes you can you can send the doppelgangers where they need to go and it's not going to be like a complex maze to get them there or something like that but the level to me just feels a like there's a few too many leaps of logic to get where you need to go. I still don't know why Chip needs the fire boots versus, you know, potentially not going down in order to avoid getting them. Also, why are we stuck there? That's confusing. I, I don't know. Okay, so I think we were on the right track with our dynamite idea with getting the teeth out. Although now I'm doubtful about whether or not we actually needed the teeth themselves. Or whether it's just this one doppelganger chip. Yeah, see, like, this kind of thing, in my opinion, is really annoying. Like, 
I, I feel like this shouldn't be in an official set. The, this sort of finagling around like this. At least the way it, it feels. And maybe I'm overreacting. I'm, I'm not going to give this a 1. M maybe a 2. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I like that concept. I just wish it, it was a little... Less intense, I guess. What? Oh. So the replay for this level is not even a proper replay. Okay. I was not expecting that. Um, I get the idea, though. I I'm going to give this a 2. Alright, let's move on. A simple case of mistaken identity. Alright, what do we got here? Whoa! Okay, so th this is teaching us about transmogrifiers, it seems. Yeah, there's a lot of different application areas here. Okay, so let's get to work here. So I need to figure out how to overcome some of the obstacles here. And also when to be Chip versus Melinda and all that good stuff. Alright, I also probably need to use some of these blocks as ice blocks, don't I? Alright, let's 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 figure out what we need to do first. I need to get skates to go in there. I probably need to be Melinda and get hiking boots to go in there. I need to be Melinda to go in that. And here. Let's go in here. Get this first. Is there anything else I can do as Melinda right now? I need fire boots in order to really advance at this point. I could use a block to, to serve the function of an ice block there. But I need hiking boots to get in there, which will require something to be done over here. Oh, but I can use blocks for that, don't I? I, I, I can just do that. That works out. Okay, now Chip can do that. Alright, so now... Melinda can safely go in here. And in here. I'm always worried they're going to somehow change on me. Um, and I guess we do the same trick with this, don't we? There we go. Alright, so now we just have one left, which I think is the one... Is the one over here? Yes, it is. And I can just skate my way over there. Alright, so now it's just a matter of getting all the... You know what? I don't know if I want to get all the bonuses. I'm not feeling that brave. But I like the idea that you can do that, though. Oh, man, what do I give that? I've, I've also got another level in this uh, voting that's sort of similar to that in terms of what it teaches. And it's called It Takes Two. But it teaches both Chip and Melinda specific things as well as um, operating in like a two-player context, which I kind of like that better, to be honest. And I, I'm not just saying that because it's my own level, by the way. Ah, oh, man. I'm going to give that a four. I, I liked it. It was a little repetitive in places. And I feel like What's a Girl to Do, that level from, I think, the second pack we played was really good at teaching you what Melinda did specifically, which I think is more valuable at this point. So I'm going to give that one a four. I still really liked it, and I wouldn't mind seeing it in the final set. All right, Hiver! I, I don't get the name, but okay. Hiver. I guess we just push this down and up. And then we just get into the stream. Is that it? Let's give it a shot and see what happens, I guess. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. How do we overcome that? Let's figure this out. Can we? Okay, good. Okay, they're going to get stuck. That's very good. Very, very good. So now I just gotta wait for the next... Oh no, I can just go over here. 
Uh, what do I give that? I feel like that wasn't exactly that compelling of a level. I like this outside aesthetic of the walls with like the the arrow, the empty arrow blocks. I feel like there's something else in there though. I can't tell what it is. Maybe it is just those two things. Yeah, I'll give it a two. It wasn't exactly a, a super bad level or anything. All right, closing in. All right, what do we got? Oh, I see. So we got to make it back before we turn into a pumpkin, right? Ah, there we go. Ooh, boy, this is going to be tight. Of course, it's going to be the longest route, isn't it? Yep, there we go. Man, you have to be, like, super optimal in order to get this. Let's try to be a little bit more careful with how we do everything here. Alright, so it was something like this, right? This blue wall thing is a little tight, not gonna lie. This is definitely a speed one. Okay, I need to stop panicking with stuff like this. I'm being way too fidgety. I can just go up there like that, and then do that. But hey, we're, we're learning how to optimize this, which is kind of fun, actually. I like the, the little challenge rooms, you know, that kind of level idea. It's always a fun trope when used well. I also like that arrow blocks were used here instead of the, um, like, ice blocks. I think, well, not to mention that would break the level, but... Okay, we're barely making that. Uh, let's go here. Oh boy, this is going to be close. Oh, we have to push these. Ah, no. I kind of wish there was a little more leeway with this. That's my only complaint with it. I like the idea of this level. It just feels like it would be stronger if it wasn't so reliant on the optimization, and the optimization element was more for thrills, if that makes sense. Like, part of what I want, and I, I hate to use my own level as an example here, because it, it feels like a weird sort of nepotism, but I feel like with Shamazel, that's the first one that comes to mind, one of the things I wanted to do with that was I wanted to have this thing where it felt like the... Um, the challenge was less with how much time you had and it was more with just how um, how you responded to things because you could theoretically optimize a level and have tons of time left but um, the real challenge was in like reacting to things so you could feasibly still solve the level with lots of time and I guess you could here too I feel like this could have been done a little bit better. I'm going to give that a three. That was that was fun. I, I did enjoy it. All right, what we got? Fearless. Ooh, fearless, huh? Uh, is this what I think it is? Like you're supposed to go into the places that look super dangerous, and then you end up discovering they're not. What? What? Hang on. So wait, if I didn't go there, what would happen? Okay, so things are triggering. Okay, I take it I have to beat that tank. I, I think that's what you have to do here. Okay, I get the the uh, the idea here. You're supposed to like just hop in with like throwing all caution to the wind and I guess hope that you make it or something. Now, how do you do this one? That's obviously not it. Interesting idea. I think it could have been done a little better, though. So, with this one... This doesn't change, does it? No. How do you do this one?
Nope, that doesn't do anything. Hmm. I don't understand the second one. Do I just go in, like... I guess you can, okay. So you really do have to be fearless. You can't stop and wonder. Because if you stop and wonder, then you're pretty much dead. Go! What? Let's try that again. I don't know what's controlling this. I'm really curious, though. Okay, four, and then five. Oh, don't tell me that was, like, my only window within which to act there. I'm also curious, can you do this outside this order? I bet the answer is yes. Okay, let me actually try that. Um, if I can go back. There we go. If I go here... Yeah, it actually works. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so I, I, I'm guessing the numbers are there for your benefit, then. Okay, that was a cool concept. I'm not sure what I think of it as an official level, though. I do feel like it's one of those things that's sort of similar to a time crunch level. In fact, the time limit's only 22, where you pretty much have to be perfectly precise. And on that level, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of it for that reason. But I like the idea, though. I'm going to give it a 2. Let's just leave it at 2 for now. All right, moving on to Coriolis Effects. This looks like Spin Cycle from uh, Chip 56. In fact, I think it is. Yeah, it's the same pattern with these chips like this. So I guess Henry Potts just renamed it? I guess so. So it's just collecting chips, I guess. That's all. I appreciate that there's plenty of wiggle... Well, not plenty, but there's some wiggle room with respect to where you can sidestep off of these things, but... Okay, so this is the end. It is, like a lot of Henry's levels, a little big. Thankfully, it goes by pretty quickly, though, which is nice. Okay, there we go. Go in there. Go in there. Go. Oop. There we go. Excellent. I'm just worried I'm going to miss stuff somewhere. Okay, we got three clusters left, which I think are all here. Yeah. Okay. That... I don't know. On one hand... It's an interesting idea, but it just repeats itself over and over again. I feel like this is more of an idea that would fit better into, like, a larger level with more things in it. I'm going to give it a 1. I'm sorry. I, I I can't really vouch for this one in an official set. I enjoyed playing it, though. It was a simple chip-collecting level, but not exactly one I'm jazzed to see in an official set. Pseudomugle Mellus, or something. What is this? Okay, so... Apparently, I'm just looking here, it seems that um, the, the main reason I'm doing this is I don't want to waste any time. We're Melinda, so we can walk on ice. What I'm noticing with this level is that we can effectively... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm just trying to understand what the whole point of that cloner is, because from what I can see, you can only push blocks to the 
left with that, which feels like it wouldn't be useful. Could be wrong, but it doesn't feel like it would be very useful at all. But let's just give it a shot. So I think what we have to do first is we need to go in and somehow get a... What in the world do we do with this? We have to hit that button. What? How do I do that? Man, I'm gonna try this. Okay, I, I can't go down there without any consequences. I don't know why I thought that was gonna work, but... So this is all the level is, it's just this 10 by 10 space. Alright, good to know we've got restrictions. That's always nice. Problem is, I cannot get a block over there, at least safely. So... Is the idea here that you're supposed to trap two ice blocks here and then pull one? Wait, no, how would you even do that, though? Because then I have to get over here. Basically, I'm trying to solve for how, how am I supposed to get in here, press this, and then get myself in a position to get inside that. That's what I'm wondering about. I don't know if any of these blocks are useful in any way either. I mean, it seems like it, it wouldn't be, but you never know, right? You never know. Yeah, I, I don't see how that's even remotely useful. So it seems to be just these four, these four right here. And that's troubling. Because of that ice tile right there, what do you do with that is the question. If I could pull a block from here, that would be one thing. If I could go from here to here and there's a block that could sit there, that'd be nice. But don't think that's doable. But I'm going to try something for fun. Let's let me just try this and see if it works. Oh, I did not mean to do that. All right, so let's do this again. Basically, I'm trying to just, like, trap them over there. I don't think it's going to work, though, because it's prop... No! I did not mean for you to do that. The hook is making this... I also don't want to hit that clone button. Okay, there we go. Okay, now how do I get these out? Can I get those out? You know, maybe the idea here is that you're really supposed to do something in terms of getting these out. I am so curious about this level. This is fascinating. So let's not do that. Let's let's do this where we're Oh wait, we, we don't want to do that yet. Actually, I guess I could do this. I could put it there and then we can... We can f open the way for that. So let's just say that. Oh, but now I can't actually... Oh. That's a shame. What on earth is up with this level? I don't get it, man. This is a, this is weird. It still doesn't even answer our questions about how to get to the blue button safely either, unless there's something hidden under one of those blocks, which is, at this point, certainly feasible. I can definitely see that being the case. I suppose we could also use an ice block to clear dirt and then use it on the other one. So I do the dirt block first and then the ice block. 
So basically do this. And then do this. Except that was a dumb idea. I don't know why I did that. Let's not do that again. Let's do what we did first and then we'll get to that point. How does that sound? Okay, let's do this. Go there. Excellent. And then we'll push you down. And then we'll take this there. Okay. So that should be enough, I, th I would think, to get this to work. Of course, now we've got the issue of how we can get the... Oh, uh, man. I probably shouldn't have put that there. Okay, so there's nothing under any of the blocks. But, hang on. Hmm. So maybe taking that ice block is a little foolhardy. Possibly. I'm thinking we need to use the ice block on both the, like, all the turtles, basically. Like, every turtle ever. Just use the ice block. Well, once it's dirt, I should say. Let's not just go happy-go-crazy with it, but... There's also the issue of this clone machine. I, I don't get that, that part of it. Uh, I'm going to try something here. Oh, I need to get the dirt block out first. I keep forgetting what to do and in what order. That's something I need to work on. Okay. The problem I'm seeing with this is that it's kind of like a chicken and egg thing. I need to get this block in there, but I can't get it in there without something else. Ugh, that's frustrating. But maybe I can just use that one in the service of doing that, and then I can back out and then use all these other ones here. So I think I'm going to need, oh, whoops, to so do something like that, and then do that. I am still really lost as to what we're actually trying to do, by the way. This section down here, this part, oh, whoa, 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 knocked my, almost knocked my mic down. This part down here is what really bothers me because it's like, how do you even get anything in there the, other than putting something there? And then how do you, unless you can block slap it down, like that's the only thing I can really think of. Can can you do that? Can you block slap something off? You can. Of course now it's it's dirt, but you know. You can totally do that. I don't know how I feel about that being in an official level. That seems a little iffy to me, but Man, this is a this level is a thing, man. This is really interesting. Wow. Okay. 
I'm just processing this in terms of how we're going to have to how we're going to have to do all this. So I'm thinking the final destination of the ice block has to be there. We're probably going to have to push one dirt block in there. We're also probably going to have to push at least one dirt block in here too, right? So one dirt block is going to have to go in the here. One here, one here. I, th I think that's pretty reasonable to assume. And I see we can use block slapping to avoid some problems here with the, the clone button. Is that fair to assume that? I hope it is. I'm trying to remember how I even did this though. I think it was something like that. It's because we used this first to go here. Then I went in and then I started uncovering stuff. Okay, then we go up here and we use this one here, like that. That's really hairy. I'm, I like this level, it's just so... Uh, I don't know. It feels like it involves using a lot of techniques that it's kind of up in the air concerning whether or not they'll be actually taught in an official set, which is... anyone's guess at this point. But I like it though. Like I like the concept of it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Got it. There we are. I just kind of wish it didn't involve the block slapping and especially the hook slap thing over here. That feels a little much, but I'm gonna give it a three because I really liked the puzzle. I just kind of wish it wasn't quite so advanced from a movement perspective, if that makes sense. But we'll see how it, how the voting evens out, I guess. Anyway, Brick Wall. This is a, a level I've, I'm, at least uh, most of you guys are probably familiar with now because I played it in Pit of 100 Tiles on this channel, if you've watched that one. And it's by Andrew Menzies, so it's basically a blue wall maze. But in the CC2 version, he used the custom floors to rather interesting effect. This is a level, by the way, I would have loved to have seen in CCLB1. I think this should have been in CCLB1. In fact, I think this and Brick Wall again were both excellent choices for that set, and I'm really sad that they didn't make it in, because I think they would have been great. They, they do a good job introducing blue walls in a way that's not nearly as overwhelming as um, like a chip mine or something like that presents to you. Not to mention that it's it requires a lot less trial and erroring on the player's part, which is also nice. And yes, you could argue, yes, it's just an item swapper, there's no chip collecting. But in a lot of ways I, I would have loved that for CCLP1. I think that would have been appropriate. I think I can just slap these if I want to check them. And I guess this is, yeah, here we go. The yellow one, so now we just need to get the green one. Also, the time limit for this is nice, too. I like the fact that it's not a long time limit. It's just very, very brief for a maze, which is kind of nice. You're really forced to think on your feet a lot. That being said, I'm not sure I want to see it in an official set now, unless we have like a CCLP0 or something. Now, that's a, an idea that I haven't really brought up before, but I know some people in the CC community have talked about maybe making a, a set that's easier than CCLP1. I know some people wouldn't necessarily be for that, but I personally wouldn't mind. And the reason why is primarily just because I feel like the game is so complex that it's nice to have some introductory stuff. I don't know. I, I think it would be interesting. Anyway, I'm going to give that a 2. Enjoyed it. I'm not sure I'm, I'm the most eager to see it in the set, but I'm not going to be mad if it's not. All right, Lofty Castle. All right, what's going on with this? 
Oh. Okay. That's interesting. So, I have to pick one, then. Hmm. I guess I'll pick the one that leads me to new places. This is really interesting, as from a layout perspective. Okay... Not sure what we're doing here. It seems like I'm supposed to push that down. Let's start over again. And that was not the key I meant to press. I, I apparently need to find whatever's controlling that and adjust it, I guess. But yeah, I can't push this down unless... Oh, I'm supposed to push it up. So I wasn't screwed. I really need to work on that more. I'm not jumping the gun on thinking that I'm, I cooked a level or something. And there I definitely did. I did not do the same thing I did before, which was a big mistake. So far this seems to be primarily an item swapper. Okay, so this time let's actually go in this way. That was what we missed last time. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have a similar little dilemma here. Oh, and I see. Once we get rid of that that thing will be home free, I guess. Okay, where's a blue? We got blue doors here, but I don't see how they help at this point. Twelve chips remaining, huh? How do I get over there? Green door, huh? I need a red key to get through here. Is it possible to leave this area with another red key? Maybe it is. Let's start over and find out. It's an interesting level so far. I'm pretty confident that what we're doing so far is correct, though. Alright, so if I, if I can't go back there yet... And I only get two red keys total in here. Do I have to save that? I think I have to save that. A little bit of hidden information, but I'm not going to stress it. Okay. Let's go and get that red key now, then. Interesting little uh, trick there. Alright, so now we go down here and we blow that guy up. I take it we go through this thief. Now, this is fascinating. Uh, now, how do we handle this? Okay, I think I see it. Whoa, my computer just froze there. I take it I have to do this one. Yeah. That enables me to go here. Okay, so now we have this section. And I'm guessing... Oh boy, this is scary. How do I deal with this? So I take it this button is the one that holds that down, because it's in reverse reading order from it. So, how do I get that? Don't tell me I have to get the 
fireball to go there like perfectly. This honestly kind of worries me a little bit, this kind of section. So at this point, hmm, this is a lot to take in. I'm just going to say that. The, the objective seems to be to go take the fireball all the way there, but on the way the fireball has to hit that. But then after the fireball hits that, then it's going to hit this. And then I'm sure there's going to be some kind of... Oh man, this room, this, this was a pretty decent level up until now. This kind of room though, sort of ruins it for me though. I, mm, maybe I'm just kind of getting a little weary right now, but this thing is not exactly inspiring a lot of confidence right now, at least when it comes to this kind of thing. I guess I could do that. That helps. Okay. I think... This should, should work, maybe? Let's, let's just see. Oh no. Then he got trapped there. Ugh. That's really frustrating. I... I'm not sure what I think of this, this one. I, I'm just actually gonna watch the solution, because I feel like we were close to the end of this. I really don't want to have to figure that out. That's honestly just not... I don't find that kind of thing fun. Especially because you're dealing with four different states. I mean, it's four different states we're talking about here. And you can toggle between potentially multiple ones. That's really kind of... That's kind of nasty, honestly. Oh, I can go that way, too. That's cool. I like that key thing, I mean, even though it's kind of a little bit of a, a mean trick, it's, I like that. I can respect that. I also forgot there's partial posting to be done with that area. Not that that cooked the level, per se, but... Okay, let's go over here. Down to the bomb. And then we do this part. I liked this room too. This is one kind of trope that I'm hoping the official set will have more of is the um, using sliding blocks like that, that are or the arrow blocks in ways that are pretty inventive. All right, so what do you do with this section? I'm I'm really curious. How first of all, how much do you have to modify any of this? Of course he. He could spend a lot of time here, too, so we'll see what he does. Yeah, like, all that, really? Unless the idea is that you don't go through... Well, no, you have to go through right away, don't you? Okay, see, that's a little complicated for my taste. At least when it comes to something like that, where there's a moving target to worry about. I, that kind of thing just doesn't sit well with me. I still like this level, though, but that part of it is less fun, in my opinion, at least. Alright, so now we get the two remaining chips from behind the teleports. Where have I heard the name Lofty Castle? I feel like that sounds familiar. I don't know where from, though. So there's a doppelganger, Melinda thingy here. The other thing I'm not the biggest fan of is that this level at its heart is basically about running back and forth a bunch.
Go down. Yay. It doesn't bother me nearly as much as that fireball thing. I, I think the fireball thing would be okay if you could have multiple fireballs to play with. That would be fine. But the way that worked out, especially that late in the level, I mean, youch, man. That's, that's a little much for a level uh, that's linear like that. All right, I'm going to give that a, t a two. I liked a lot of the level except for that one room. All right, attic. Let's do attic here. What is this? Oh, no. Is this a logic thing? Oh, boy. It's a logic thing, isn't it? Okay. Um... Maybe the idea is that we just have to move all the buttons off the things. Maybe that's a... Oh, wow, the time limit. Oh, boy. Okay, hang on. Let's just move everything off. Uh, let's do this slightly better. <laughs> this feels really goofy, but I'm going to just run with it here. Okay, I feel like we're not going to have enough time, but we'll figure it out. Yay! Go, 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 go! Uh, man, how do you rate something like that? On one hand, I like the time crunch of it. On the other hand... You know what? I'm going to give that one a 2, at least. That... I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it does teach you, or at least inspire you to use block slapping, which is kind of neat, so I can't deny that's pretty cool. Alright, flame mixture. Is this like dolly mixtures? Because it looks like it could be. Let's just carve out some paths, I guess. I don't know if there's specific ones that you have to use here. That may have been a mistake for this particular guy. But let's do this. There we go. I still haven't found where the, the actual control for this is. Alright. Oh, here, there it is. It's right there. Is that everything? I feel like there's another one. Yeah, there's this one. Where do you go to do this? Where do you go to do this? Unless... Oh... The red doors are ultimately used for the blocks? Is that it? Oh wait, I could use the, the fireball. Yeah, I can use some of these again. So let's tell you what, let's let's do it. There we go. Oh whoa, whoa, I did not mean to do that. So I don't actually have to get all the chips. It's interesting. Let's make it a little more straightforward then. And also, let's not do what I just did there and get stuff to red keys, because that's... Or actually, no, wait a minute. All these are red keys. So wait, how many red doors are there? Hang on a sec. Are there only three? If there are only three, then that's not bad. There isn't like a... a chip limitation on this, is there? 
Because I don't see one. I, you have to get all the required chips in order to solve it. I mean, I guess I'll just go and get all the keys I can. I mean... No harm, right? And that's apparently it. Giving that a 1. We've already seen the concept in Dolly Mixture, and for me that didn't really add a whole lot to the table, so... Alright guys, we're going to stop here for now. It's been a really productive recording session, so let's continue on next time with Tanks for the Memories. Um, once again, guys, I just want to thank you all for watching. Really appreciate all the support a lot. Um, I know these videos are long, but it's definitely something I, I wanted to do at some point on this channel, just to go through an official voting thing, and I thought this would be a good opportunity. So for those of you who are sticking around, thank you for doing so. And to everybody, I will catch you on the flip side.